In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an FE2 map test map. So let's just get into it. In order to do so, you need a Windows or Mac OS powered computer. If you don't have any, you can just borrow your dad's laptop. So, load in Roblox Studio. It should be installed in your computer if you have Roblox installed. Load in the base plate and you need to get the FE2 map making kit in order to get started making a map. You can load in the map kit by typing FE map in the toolbox and lo just load in the first one. Before you add any gameplay and all that, I recommend adding the background music it will help you make the map sync or maybe fit into the music recommend it like listening to the music a billion times now a lot of people ask me this but how do i whitelist my fe2 map it's pretty simple though but it's kind of complicated for some people so yeah i'm just gonna show you how First, you select everything in the map which is related to the map, right click it, and click publish to Roblox. Then you want to create a new one, and then give it a name. And make sure you take allow copying, so that way it can be whitelisted. Now, for the whitelisting process, the whitelisting in FE2 map test won't work anymore as lazy blocks is lazy because of the model buying delay. So, what happened with the whitelisting system in FE2 map test? Good question. So, Roblox has actually done something different with how a player can purchase free models. And the way the whitelisting process worked was that this music's really loud for me. Hold on. Uh, the way it worked is that I just had a whitelist queue, and the game just sent me request after request of buying a map. As if you were buying a game pass, you know that little middle window that comes up. Uh, it uses the same system, uh, but they introduced a cooldown. Uh, to it recently with purchasing models so I could go ahead previously and just spam buying adding maps to my inventory to allow it to be used in Floodscape 2 map test uh, yeah but I had no issue 200 maps per queue easy I could get that done at about 5 or 10 minutes ago uh, but they swap they changed how it works so they've added a, a cooldown every five maps that I add to my inventory uh, they basically stopped me from taking any more as a way of preventing uh, suspected bots taking every model that's available on the public domain and so I've been directly affected by it and if I was to use the same method as I have done it would take me upwards of an hour every time to empty the queue and it's so mundane it's it's impossible and I need a bot to automate it rather than go through it manually. I've been trying to avoid and to get a bot set up for it. So yeah. It's it's not cool, but Hey Savage. So you can try doing it in FEM map test. Because the way it whitelist is different. Because now the whitelisting system in FE and map test has a delay. So now, once your map got whitelisted, you can now test it. But if you want to ask how to get the ID of the map, in order to get the ID of the map, you will need to go to roblox.com/slash developer. Then click on models, click on your map, 
and then on the top bar in your browser copy the numbers that's the ID of your map now in order to whitelist it you can go to the FE2 map test or FEM map test game then put it then paste the ID of your map in order to do so you press Control V for Windows command V for Mac or when you click on the whitelisting in mobile hold it hold the text box and click paste then you click on the whitelist button then it should be in the key for whitelisting so that's about whitelisting your map thanks for watching i hope you find this really helpful and goodbye